Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. All right, here he is, DC. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today. The undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, and for Khabib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents. Always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets. Also, on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again. Wrestling, Sambo, Jiu-Jitsu, striking. The guy has it all. I know you listed striking last, but your head coach, Javier Mendez, says sometimes he's going southpaw yeah. in training. We haven't seen just how good a striker he is. We saw shades in the McGregor fight. Yes. But not complete. But technically, he has so many skills that he has not even displayed to the MMA community yet. All right, another big spot for Khabib Nurmagomedov here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 246 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, the Destroyer. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! All right, Grinton rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. So here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up or are you just expecting them to stick to what got them to the sense? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm and will start to chase submissions. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Shermago Medoff gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Nice kick. 
Alright, so there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory if he couldn't get takedowns. That is certainly a good sign. Right away he got the takedown. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well so early. Great job. A little single collar tie there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, you can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Straight punch lands. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Mago Menov going for the takedown, but unable to land. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Nermago Meta. And both guys really throwing with authority. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. Never looked this good. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. There's the leg kick. That one checked by Nemago Meta. Body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Oh, beautifully placed in time. Kick there by Nermago Meta. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nermago Meta, obviously. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. Way to control the posture of your opponent. Rotate him and then throw that big elbow around the guard. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Leg kicks. All combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Punch over the top. Look at the force behind that leg kick. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Good right hand from the top. He blocks the punch. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Oh, big flying knee finds the target. Now we'll see if the longer, taller fighter can move in and follow it up. And they separate. Just a slip there. Oh, effective strike there by Nermago Meta. Such a fast leg. Now he touches him with the left. Wait, no, 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 no. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entry, rushing to his finishes before his po opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. 
Effective punch there by Nermago Meta. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Single column tie now. Able to thwart the single leg takedown attempt there. And they separate. Look at him chopping the wood. He's chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Hard single collar tie now. Right at the elbow, the body keep playing. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Big kick land. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. That is a thudding leg kick. Oh, he's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. Went for the inside leg kick. Flips the punch nicely there. Effective strike there by Nermago Meta. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish his fight. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Nice punch lands over the top. Looking to land the leg kick now. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Khabib. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, big knee. Knee to the body. Strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice punch lands over the top. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Right hand punch to the clinch. And they separate. Just out of range with that right hook. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice counter left hook to the head. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Real quick leg kick. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. And they separate. Nice straight right lands. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Nice strike. Back and forth we go. Oh, nice inside kick. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Less punch followed by a right. Nice one two there by Nermago Matter. 
Well, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments. Oh! There's no give on that leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, nice land there by Nurmagomedov. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. And that's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with meaning. Can't take many of those. You better check. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Could be trouble defensively. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Ground and pound strike is true. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pack to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, he's got the choke. He might get a finish here. Oh, he might have got him with the choke. understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 48 seconds of round number three. For the winner by submission, Habib Habibullah All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. Man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. 